Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play franchise episode. And this is pre-recorded before you guys wonder if you're new to the channel. This is pre-recorded during the beta time for us to kill the time during the wait for the launch of the game. I'm really excited. We're focusing a lot on the gameplay at this series. And we also have a speed build series, which we did when the beta was live. So after the launch, we will combine these two with gameplay and the creative mode to create create the most amazing suit when we have more time obviously so hopefully you guys will enjoy subscribe of course if you already haven't and leave a like at the video if you guys do enjoy and in the last episode we did add the snow leopard in this habitat this snowy habitat with the cute fairy tail they are really amazing and this toy is just way too big for him <laughs> it's just way too big i remember having my cat when he was still alive, he was, he adored plushies and then he had like way too big plushies and he walked with them like exactly like this, but then down off the stairs, like really terrifying to see, but he had so much fun and he was so proud when he brought his toy down. It was so cute to see. He had like a little turtle plushie and I still have it, even though I don't have my cat anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, it really reminds me of that, like taking two big toys and just play around with them. So the thing is, we want to have babies. We want to have more babies. We don't have any new notifications right now. So hopefully we can make sure that these guys at least have a high chance of getting some babies. It's not super high right now. So we definitely need to make sure that we are doing our research. Did we unlock anything yet? Only for the African buffalo and the common ostrich. Ooh, one African buffalo died. Oh no, of old age? Well, that's at least... I hope you had a wonderful time in our zoo. This is just so sad when these things happen. Look at this guy just looking at it like, hey, that doesn't seem right, does it? This is really sad. Do we still have the male buffalo in here? Because else we can't really get any more babies now, do we? Let's have a look. Is that... Okay, you are still here. You are almost an elderly, so we have to keep an eye on you or we just replace you <laughs> with another male. That could definitely be a thing. So we at least make sure we don't get like inbreeding and stuff, which is just not really good. So I think we're gonna put you up for adoption. African buffalo, you're going. I'm very, very sorry, my friends, but I think it's time for you to go. And we're going to get a new African buffalo, a younger one. Oh, there's only one. Great. Uh, you're pretty expensive. You're too expensive. I need to sell you first. Hopefully someone doesn't notice it's a very old one. <laughs> we have, still have a common ostrich and a pronghorn antelope in our trading center too at this point. But hopefully we can get a male in here very soon to get some more babies. Let's get those guys. Wait, we have... You're pretty old now, aren't you? You guys are also elders. So we're gonna move you guys. We're gonna move you and we're gonna get in more buffaloes. Where are they we need to call a vet for you because that is just really sad if you're just laying down here where are all the babies did we trade them all i'm not sure if we did that would be very weird if we did we had so many babies going on and now we don't have anything anymore i probably did something wrong i don't know why but we do have to make sure we get new african buffaloes in we're gonna get you you're the only male in here we only have one buffalo left did i seriously do that okay the rest is in training center because they're really old i think i just i was too fast i didn't know to be honest that they wouldn't get that old so that's really something to learn from so you should not trade with your babies <laughs> we're gonna sell those guys oh we can only rehome you well we have money 221,000. so we're gonna rehome you and we're going to rehome the other one then too 
Wei Hong Yu, and then we're going to hopefully get some new ones in here soon that are not this expensive. Wait, I do see a cheap one. I see a cheap one. I'm going to get you. You're a female. And we're gonna get you in. So hopefully you guys can make some babies for us. So how are the black bears doing right now then? So you're 14 years old and how high is the chance? 75% chance. And how are you guys doing in your welfare? So the space of the habitat is just definitely too small. But we can do something about that. We can just edit this barrier and just drag it a little bit further away then. Like that. And then we have to wait and see if we need to do anything else with like the terrain or maybe something else. Okay, there's one tree I just can't remove. It's over here, but for some reason I can't click it. So we can't do anything about that tree. Anything else? The terrain seems really nice still and we can add one or two trees in this area just to make it to make sure it's not super empty I guess. This guy just right over here. We're not gonna do that much because those people can't really tell anyways. So space should be better now. Cleanliness, we can take care of that so we can call a keeper to the habitat to this animal, well not specifically to this animal, I just want to keep her to this habitat to clean it and we also want a mechanic to fix the barriers and I think that's kinda all what we can do. Last meal, did we do more research to add and upgrade your meal in the habitat? That should be over here. Food to level 2. So we still can't upgrade that. Well, hopefully making the habitat a little bit bigger will help them get some offspring. And the same goes for the bears. I think the bears are pretty fine with everything they have. It's just a matter of time. How big was, how high is the offspring chance? 82%. That's really good to be honest. So hopefully our hard work will pay off at some point. We cannot upgrade the food anymore. Oh, we can? Perfect. So that will be now grade three. I'm really excited to see if this is going to work out. Our warthogs are still not pregnant. You're not happy with your habitat because of the plants. Other than that, everything is 100%. So it should not be that big of an issue. And the same goes for you. Are you still happy with your toys? I think you are. <sighs> Okay, this is this is really hard, but I'm gonna be so happy once it works out. 97% guys, how hard can it be? I mean seriously, how hard can it be? We need babies. Buffaloes are probably going pretty fast. I feel the first time it was like within a minute. And how are you guys doing? Are you guys going to mate? Is that your, your mating? <gasps> I think it is. Oh my gosh, we, we saw it again. We just completely saw it. I'm just... I'm so surprised. Did we... Oh, well, she's not pregnant, but it doesn't have to work all the time. So that's the second thing. Like, that is exactly the, the chance. So one time it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So that's exactly the thing. But we do have two babies, which we can hopefully trade with in a later stage. And we also have you, so we have two females, and one is probably the offspring of the other. Oh wait, they're both offspring? Yikes, okay. Uh, <laughs> we have to be careful now, we have to be careful. We have so many cute babies here. So how are the zebras doing? Is that other zebra already an adult? I guess it is. 14.2... 10.1 i think this one should be the baby at least what was once a baby so we might wanna mm, how old are you i think we might want to replace let's trade with the male one so the male one can have babies with either the daughter and this lady so it sounds a bit weird, I know, but we're gonna try that out just to see if that will work out properly. And we're gonna get a meal in. Not so expensive, please. Oh my god, I'm almost out of conservation credits. <laughs> 
I've been reading so much. Okay, now I'm now I'm really playing franchise mode, guys. No more cheating. No more cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so we should definitely go and trade these animals we got right now and we're gonna ask 400 for you because the others are really expensive too so you're probably one of the cheapest ones so far so good i hope at least babies everyone happy these guys are reproducing pretty easily so we have our wolves here and uh, it's so hard to satisfy these wolves i mean seriously <laughs> i i know that I should not do this, but I'm going to delete some of the trees and bushes because I just want to see if that is going to change anything. As much as I love the habitat, we're going to try and play this how it should and see if that would work better. Now everything is green. Can we please? Maybe. Maybe, maybe get some baby wolves in here because that would be super amazing. Like, seriously, super amazing. I really am looking forward to some... But I like it. I like it that it's hard, guys. I like it that there is some challenge in here and that it's not all super easy to get babies in. I honestly like that. So, as much as I want babies, I'm not disappointed. I like it that the game is doesn't make it too easy for you to get babies with some species. I really like that. So how are you guys doing right now? Are you guys having fun? You guys enjoying your stay here? Or is the female one? Did we miss out on any notification maybe? No animal, no animal, no pregnancy. Well, only the, the, the ostrich. All right, the bird's behavior is not even moving. It's like starving, but not dying. It's just stuck there. It's so sad. Talking about bird's tapirs, how are you guys doing? Oh, you're having fun with your bugs now, don't you? You cutie pie. <laughs> Look at that snout when it runs. It's so funny. We have the female right over here. 10 years old. And you are the male, 16 years old. You might be able to get another baby, right? And you are that baby grown up. Oh gosh, okay, no more baby tapers anymore, but I'm going to trade with you because we need some conservation points. I'm sorry, I should not trade with that one. I should get another, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move you back. And I'm gonna try to see if we can figure out how to create like a perfect plot line or I don't know, just just play more with the training instead of like, okay, baby, put it away. I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna play it differently and I still don't really get a hang of it how to really play it, but we're just gonna try it, okay? So we're gonna keep the younger one. So these guys are going away and we're gonna get a new young female for Nekahual. Or something like that. Center trade center. Both of them. And then we're going to get a female young tapir back for it. And we're gonna breed with that offspring again or something like that. I think that is how you should play it. This one is pretty okay. Do we have the conservation point? It's all I have. <laughs> it's all I have. So now what you are wondering? Well, we have money. We don't have conservation credits, at least not that many. What I want to do is I want to create a African wild dog habitat. So let's see if we can get some African wild dogs in here. Perfect. So one and two. They're not really the best stats. They don't have the best stats, but I think we will be fine for the breeding. So we're going to continue this habitat and the African wild dog, do they need a high, no, only grade two. I do want to change this to wood because I just really like the wood more in this case. And we have a lot of wood on this side too. So I think that's going to be fine. Okay, let's just check real quick if they are able to jump out of here or anything. Nope, they are not. Oh, they need more space. Well, luckily for you, we have more space, my friend. Some windows on this side and some windows on this side. Nothing really exciting. 
and now the habitat should be good let's have a look and let's fix a nice habitat for you guys We've got ourselves a very simple habitat again. We do have enough space and we do need to make sure we have some food enrichment and everything you want, something more. So we're gonna give you a large ball. And now you guys are super duper happy, hopefully. <laughs> Do they need water? No, they need a water station. So let's add a water station right over here. Some signs. I really honestly can't wait to do this in a really creative way when I have just a lot of time and just prepare some really nice things for you guys. But I think it's a really good way to get to know the game a little bit more like I'm doing right now. I honestly hope you guys enjoy this. I am really enjoying the gameplay part of the game. Obviously, I would really want to do this way more creatively, but I just don't have time for that. So I hope you guys understand and still like it. I do think we're gonna get some African wild dogs pretty easily. Let's have a look. 59%, that's not that much. Uh, but we can do some research and hopefully we can get a bonus in there, one or two. Are you guys happy in your habitat? You like some more long grass now, do don't you? You're such a cute boy. Or girl, I don't know which one I clicked. Like running around in your big habitat. I think you guys will really like it here. I do think we need some more zookeepers just to make sure that everything runs smoothly because we're adding animals really quickly. Really quickly. I never had this big of a zoo myself with so many different species. So I really enjoy this. Oh, this vet is doing the research already. Oh, you play with your ball. That's so cute. Eating your meat, having fun. This guy is eating right over here. Everything runs so smoothly and nice. I'm really happy about that. That skin is so beautiful, by the way. That pattern on his fur. <laughs> They're so adorable. I really, if I see those guys, I really have to think of hyenas, which Frontier Developments teased. They may have announced it once this video is up, of course, because tomorrow, while I'm recording, it's the 3rd of October right now. So tomorrow is Animals Day, Animal World Day, or anything like that. I don't know exactly what the translation is. And some people say there are rumors that tomorrow will be a lot of animals being announced. So who knows? But the hyena has been shown in like a fur mystery monday and there was a mystery monday and there was a i think it was a fur of the african wild dog uh, but there was also fur of a hyena in there so everyone is like pretty sure for two months already or three months already that there will be hyenas in the game but we still have no official confirmation about that so yeah I'm just really excited to hear more about that and to see them because I would love to have some hyenas in my park during lunch. <laughs> Look at you! You're gonna play with your toy. You're so adorable. So yeah guys, who knows? That would be really incredible if we would see them in the game and hopefully they are already announced when I'm talking about this and if not, we hopefully will see them at lunch or hear more about that really soon. Did we miss out any notification? I don't think we did. So no new babies, guys. We just have to patiently wait. Can we get some likes for this beautiful African wild dog? And please, of course, as I said, subscribe, of course, if you already haven't. And if you are looking for some inspiration after launch, hopefully I can help you guys with that. And I'm just really excited to start playing the launch. I'm, it's gonna be super amazing. 
So hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. Please let me know in the comment sections if you guys do. And I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.